Hi, my name is Safat. I'm the founder of Women and Democracy, a women's rights organization based in the Maldives, which is dedicated to improving women's lives and promoting women's rights across the Maldives and Asia, respectively. We believe that women are a powerful force for change and we advocate for women's empowerment in economic and political sectors. Pre-COVID, we were mainly working on the capacity development and enhancement of the women candidates of the local council elections of the Maldives. But as the pandemic took course, it became very apparent that women are most likely going to bear the brunt end of the virus. During the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, we expedited to launch our rapid response program to act as a timely lifeline for women and girls uh, most vulnerable and most severely affected by the, by the pandemic. Our rapid response program mainly focuses on two areas. Number one, protecting women and young girls from all sorts of violence. In partnership with the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, we established our very own support services helpline to women and girls experiencing domestic and sexual abuse. Through this helpline, we also provide survivors with psychosocial counseling and refer the most emergent cases to emergency shelter or other safe spaces. To date, we have received about 50 plus cases per month. Secondly, we have strived to improve access to menstrual materials for women and girls most vulnerable. These menstrual supplies were mostly supplied to frontline women workers and volunteers, women and girls in isolation and quarantine facilities, and most vulnerable women and girls. We hope to continue this service um, furthermore. During this global um, time of uncertainty, and as we are all gradually trying to overcome this pandemic, young people are demonstrating their continued leadership in their respective communities and countries. I strongly believe in the power of the youth. I strongly believe that the youth can make a positive and long-lasting change in their home communities. And now more than ever, we need young people's leadership. We need to come together in global solidarity and yes, we can and we will win this fight together.